Merry Christmas everyone! I'm Cam and welcome to the Pop Arcade. Today I'm going to be showing you all my Christmas pops as well as a small Christmas unboxing. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I usually upload on a Wednesday and a Saturday, but because Christmas falls on a Friday, I thought I'd give you a video a day early. So, today, because it is Christmas, I'm going to show you all of my Christmas pop vinyls, and I'm also going to show you what's in here. This is also, there should be one Christmas pop in here, and there should be a normal pop in here. So, let's get going and show you what's in here. And then I'll show you my Christmas pops. So I've got most of my Christmas pops I've already got already, but there is one Christmas pop that has been on pre-order for a while. Um, I'm not sure why, but I've got the rest of them already there. Uh, so this is my... I can't even get it out. This is my Christmas Chewbacca. So um, you'll see in a minute I've got the other Star Wars characters, uh, which are these ones here. But I was missing Chewie, uh, so now I have Chewie. He can go on the shelf and we'll put him there in a second. But there is also one more pop vinyl to show you guys. This is not Christmas related. This is the glow in the dark Casper. So a few videos ago, I did unbox normal Casper, uh, who's a common, um, but the Funko Shop exclusive uh, version of the Casper is glow in the dark. Um, obviously we have the pop culture version here because we're in Australia. Um, but yeah, everywhere else in the world is a Funko Shop exclusive glow in the dark Casper. So he will go with my normal common. And I'll show you guys him as well. He's just down there on my miscellaneous shelf. So yeah, let's unbox these. And I'll show you the rest of my Christmas pops. Oh yeah. So all of the Star Wars pops all, all have bubble heads. How cool is he? I don't have many bubble head pops, but the ones I do are pretty cool. Because I... I think all the Marvel Pops and all the Star Wars Pops have bobbleheads. Um, and I think that's in the licensing agreement there. Um, so I don't even have many Star Wars or Marvel Pops. So therefore, I don't have many bobblehead Pops. I think the only other bobblehead Pop I think I have is the Captain... Oh, what's his name? <laughs> is the Captain America exclusive um, from one of the Comic-Cons? I can't even find it now. Or it's somewhere. It's somewhere in one of my cabinets. Uh, but he is like the only other bobblehead I have, so... Plus the other Star Wars Christmas ones, they're the only bobbleheads I have. Bobblehead, bobblehead, bobblehead. How many times am I going to say that today? Okay, and, uh, and this is Casper Glow in the Dark. Pretty much looks identical. Ah, uh, so these pops have the cable ties sort of things. I wonder if I can... Break it. No, I'll break the actual pop if I pull it out. I'm going to need my trusty knife. Okay. I need to get this guy out without damaging the pop. How did I do it last time? Oh god. Almost. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Didn't break it. It's meant to come apart. Yes, it's meant to. Cool. Oh, far out. Maybe I did break it. I'm gonna have to get some glue, I think, and stick it in there. Mm. Cool. All right, let's head over to the Christmas cabinet now and show you all the good stuff. All right, guys. So here you can see all of my Christmas pops. I really do need another shelf, I think, because I'm running out of room. Um, so I'll give you guys a closer look in a second, um, but I'm gonna put our bobblehead Chewy down here with the other Star Wars Christmas characters. Oh, there's not much room, we have to move the Yoda over. Ah, there we go. Cool. So as you can see, I've got the Star Wars ones down here, and then we've got the Santa Claus movie. Moving over to Lilo and Stitch, or just Stitch. And uh, then we've got Spongebob. Then we've got The Office Christmas. Then we've got some Deadpool over there, some more Marvel. And then we've got National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation down there in the back of the bottom shelf. 
And then over here on the top shelf for the Christmas Pops, we've got Harry Potter. We've got some Disney in there as well. And then we've got the DC Christmas versions at the back there of uh, some of your favourite characters. So there are a few more Christmas Pops that actually haven't come just yet. Um, I am waiting on the gingerbread versions of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Um, so they're the Funko Shop exclusives, I'm pretty sure. And I believe there is another um, Minnie and Mickey Mouse that I am waiting on as well. I think so. Or maybe I've already got them. I can't remember. But yeah, with my Christmas Pops here, there's no actual rares or anything. They're all pretty much common. Um, I'll give you guys a closer look at them now. So here we go, guys. Here's a closer look at my Christmas Pops. You've got the beautiful DC versions of Christmas up there. My... I think that's what's his name, Flash. Flash is Rudolph, he's very wonkity, very rickety, so he doesn't stand up properly. So he's currently resting on the side of the glass cabinet. Um, I need to get some glue or something for him. But yeah, then we've got the special glitter version of the uh, Winnie the Pooh, next to the normal piglet there. The Christmas Disney Pops are awesome, these Minnie and Mickey Mouses, I love them. As well as the Harry Potter Christmas Pops. I don't really have any Harry Potter Pops, except for these festive ones, so I really like them. Yeah, so that's the top shelf there of Christmas. Now the bottom shelf of Christmas. So at the back there we've got National Lampoon, Christmas Vacation. I haven't actually watched that movie too many times, but it is quite funny. Then we've got Groot at the back there, Christmas Deadpool, Michael Scott and uh, Dwight Schrute from The Office there. And then, yeah, we've got the Star Wars Christmas Pops. And then we've got Tim Allen as the Santa Claus down the bottom here. Along with Stitch. And Spongebob. So, yeah. How cool. Alright, guys. I'll just quickly show you where I'm going to be putting the glow-in-the-dark Casper. He's going to go here, next to the normal common Casper. But I've actually broken it. It keeps coming off the little hole there. Oh, so annoying. I, th I think I've actually broken him by being so... And now it's hard to do this one-handed. Oh my god. Oh, hang on a second, guys. Jeez, I'm going to have to put the camera down. Alright, so I have actually damaged the glow-in-the-dark version. Um, so I have had to put a little bit of super glue in there. So he's drying at the moment. Um, so I'm putting him on this shelf here with the common. Um, but this shelf is a little bit of a scrambled shelf. There's a few movies on here. Movies, TV shows, and characters sort of jumbled in one. Um, so I really need to sh sort this shelf out. I'm not really sure what sort of category the shelf is. I think probably TV shows and movies by the looks of it. <laughs> but I think the Caspers don't really belong here. So I'm going to maybe put them somewhere else. I'm not sure. Where do you think I should put them, guys? Leave a comment below. And uh, what other pops should I associate with the Casper Pops? All right. Well, there we go, guys. That's all my Christmas Pops. Thank you so much for watching this tiny little video today. And I hope you have an amazing Christmas with your friends and family. And be safe out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very shortly.